Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. You're very welcome to the programme. And this evening we find ourselves in Waterloo Bay at uh, Lorn. And I think that's a pretty cool name, Waterloo Bay. But uh, you're looking at a bit of history here. Because uh, Waterloo Bay in Lorn is known as Jurassic Coast. Now, in 1999, scientists found the remains of an ichthyosaur here. A large marine dinosaur-like creature. It's very much like a dolphin, only much bigger and much more fierce. Um, I've seen it. It's actually in the Ulster Museum. So they found part of the, the skeleton. They found the head, the ribs. And that. so it's actually in the museum. But the rocks here are absolutely fantastic. And of course, when these rocks were laid down, they were once mud and silt but they're hardened now. So the ichthyosaur that was found is actually known as the Lorne Sea Dragon or the Minas Monster. And it's the most complete ichthyosaur found in Northern Ireland. Now only two dinosaur bones have been found on the end of, of Ireland. And that is the uh, Amygdalosaurus bone and also a bone of an ankylosaurus and these were both found on the Antrim coast and these also are in the Ulster Museum you can see the way the rocks change there so there are fossil bones from the hind legs of those two different dinosaurs and of course the megalosaurus was a meat eater and the Ankylosaur was a plant eater. Of course, both originally were vegetarians rather than carnivorous. Now, they were found on the Antrim coast in the same place. But also woolly mammoth teeth. That's a big hairy elephant. So woolly mammoth teeth were also found in 1987 in excavations near Crumlin, which is also in County Antrim. And so all of these fossils are on display, as I say, in the Ulster Museum in Belfast. So if you want to go and see them, uh, they're well worth a look. You'll, you'll, you'll see an ichthyosaur up close and personal, which is absolutely fantastic. And uh, of course, all the sea creatures were made on day five of the creation week and all the land animals were created on day six the same day as man and the reason why i say that both the megalosaur and the ankylosaur were vegetarian to start with is because animals didn't become carnivorous till after the fall in fact possibly even until after the flood of noah and so most of the animals were fossilized very rapidly during the global flood in the days of Noah. And for example, if there was a global flood, what would you expect to see? You would expect to see billions of dead things buried in rock layers that was laid down by water all over the earth. And that's exactly what we see in the fossil record. The rocks are absolutely fantastic here, aren't they? So this is a favourite place for Santas. You can see the rocks there at the back, the cliffs. But this is certainly a favourite place uh, for Santas. So it's a great place to have here in Northern Ireland and Lorne. I would say a lot of people probably don't even know that this is here. You can see the cliffs there and a lot of places too what you get is rock that is hardened 
but you get what's known as polystrata fossils running through various layers of the rock. Now, there's been polystrata tree trunks found. Some actually have no roots and no tips. And they go through various layers. And so rather than believe that that actually happened over a long period of time, because it's certain that the trees didn't grow there because of no roots, no tips. I believe that actually the polystrata fossils are the result of the flood, the flood of Noah, and that they were deposited in the flood of Noah. And I think that's possibly a waterfall there. It certainly looks like it. And of course, it doesn't take long for uh, rocks to harden. There was a... There's something up in there, I can hear it. A wee bird. There was a... You've heard of the, the rhinestone cowboy. Well, have you ever heard of the limestone cowboy? And the limestone cowboy... <laughs> it was a cowboy's boot found in the 19th century. And the leg was still in it. And both the boot and the leg had actually hardened. Had it turned to stone. I can hear that wee bird up there. The rocks are brilliant, aren't they? Look at that there. Absolutely fantastic. So there you go, folks. That's my uh, five peas worth anyway. Thanks for watching and God bless.